The First Minister has been sent a letter from the STUC and Commonweal setting out their serious concerns about the National Care Service Bill, uh, asking that the bill is paused. They're joined by the GMB, Unison, Unite, the Scottish Pensioners Forum, Who Cares Scotland, Parkinson's UK, respected Professor of Public Policy, James Mitchell, the SNP trade union group, and more besides. And this follows significant criticism of the bill by no less than four committees of this parliament, COSLA, a host of care providers, and those receiving care themselves. There's nothing to stop the SNP from delivering improvements to social care now, light like fair pay, and ending non-residential care charges. But the sector is concerned that the SNP are not listening to their concerns and are intent on bulldozing this bill through. Will the First Minister pause the bill and take the time required to get it right? First Minister. Of course we will uh, take the, the time required to get it uh, right. Uh, there was a line in the letter that Jackie Bailey referred to that she didn't read out, of course, so I will. We want to emphasise that we share the Scottish Government's desire to create a national care service. There are several committees of this Parliament scrutinising the bill at stage one. Uh, when we uh, have all of the reports and all of the feedback, uh, we will take time to consider uh, all of the issues that have been raised. And of course, at that stage, we will set out uh, the time scale uh, for the rest of the legislative uh, process. And of course, in the interim, uh, we are taking steps to improve uh, social care. Yeah. Uh, and let's remember what a national care service is about. It's about ending the postcode lottery in care provision, and it's about better rewarding those who work within the sector. In the year ahead, we're taking action to to boost social care workers' uh, pay and, of course, getting the initial organisational arrangements in place. So we will continue to proceed in that responsible way. Uh, and as we do so, we will listen to the views of all of the organisations uh, that are signatories to the letter um, and I'm sure many others beside.